Hi guys, Mr. Johnny here. This video is a brief overview of a secret of a little boost converter that I've made to power my multimeter. This one that I repaired in another video from a two AA cells. And the schematic for a circuit looks like this. You will see the actual circuit shortly. As you can see, the circuit uses four transistors. And the main switch is a BD139 here, and you can use another kind of transistor here. A medium speed switching transistor is the best to use here. It has uh, to be able to cope with voltages across its collector, emitter and collector base, with, um, which are higher than your intended output voltage. Now this transistor is 2N3906, these two are 2N3904s. All the resistance values you can see here. This capacitor is optional, you can include it, you can omit it, it's up to you. In my case it's a hundred microfarads, just provides a low impedance source for the circuit. Alright, so if you want more explanations on this, uh, leave them, leave a request in the comments below and I'll do a little bit more explanation and I will tell you what modification I actually made to make it very efficient because right now it's the meter off and screws popping out this uh, converter consumes about 10 microamps from a battery which is about 2.5 volts at the moment and two double A's and it does that by including a little feedback line but again if you want I will do another video this is supposed to be a brief overview now of course thanks to that feedback it's off and all I need to do is to press existing button and it works just right as you can see now this offset about this offset it's not because of the noise that this converter creates if you watch my previous video which I misbehaves <laughs> if you watch my previous video link to which you can find here you will see that it has this offset from the start after I replaced the chip in it and it behaved like that from the start it may start to it may, it may start doing this all of a sudden, but trust me, <laughs> it was doing the same thing running from a 9 volt battery. So it's not connected. This problem is not connected by any means with the switching converter, which is right here. You can see how simple it is a little board. And I used a generic 1N4148 as an output rectifier. It's good to use Shocky for best efficiency, but meh, you know. I measured efficiency it's a, and it's about 60%, which is, mm, you know, awful, but meh, it will do. But the advantage of the circuit is it runs on dead batteries, no problem. Again, these two batteries connected in series provide me with 2.5 volts, so there are 1.25 volts each. Not fresh, not fresh at all. All right. So that's about it. If you want more information, leave a request in the comments below, and it will be great actually if you explain to me what do you want me uh, to make a video on. I mean <clears throat> the operation of this circuit or how did I do uh, that it consumes very little current without any external switches. 
So that's that, guys. And, yeah, one moment, I'll hook up some batteries so you'll see that it works just fine. Alright, 6 volt battery is a test subject, and the unit is a reference. It's in 20 volts, make sure it is same scale, because they are both 2000 count meters, which you can easily tell by looking at the ranges, it's 220, 200, not 5, 50 and 500. That's why the range is different, that's the amount of counts that matter. Let's connect it up, make sure it's not on amps, which it's not. And 6.06, they tell the same both. Which is actually, actually, this one flickers, you can see, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, which is because uh, 65 milliamps, 65 millivolts, excuse me. So it's halfway between. That's why it fluctuates. I guess that convinced you. If not, request a video. I'll do a further explanation if you want it. But again, I'm quite bad at explanations in terms that I can't really make a short explanation. So if you're fine with a long ramble, which is technical ramble, by the way, but it's going to be long. Anyway, thanks for watching, see ya.